In this brief video, we'll see how you can quickly and easily configure MacroView DMF or MacroView Message so that they automatically record metadata as you save emails to SharePoint. As you save an Outlook email to SharePoint, MacroView DMF and MacroView Message both look for a content type called email. If that is available, they will automatically select it without prompting you. Even if there are multiple content types in your library, MacroView will then record the attributes of the email, the to, from, and so on, in columns with internal names such as MV2, MV from, MV sent on, and so on. The MacroView Solution Provisioning Tool is an easy and convenient way to add that MacroView content type and those MacroView columns to your SharePoint environment and make your SharePoint document libraries MacroView compatible. This works for both SharePoint Online and for on-premises SharePoint server. In an Office 365 environment, the tool supports Teams site collections, OneDrive for Business site collections, as well as other SharePoint Online site collections. You can create new document libraries that are MacroView compatible or update existing libraries to make them compatible. Step one is to download the MacroView solution provisioning for DMF and Message from the MacroView Help Center. Then install that extension in your PC, and then you can right click in the MacroView tree and choose Provision. Here we are in the MacroView Help Center. Let's use Solution Provisioning, and here's the article we want. Note that it says you should be using version 8.6 or later of MacroView DMF or MacroView Message. If you're running previous versions of MacroView Provisioning, you should first uninstall them before you install the correct version of this new MacroView Solution Provisioning tool. If you're using a 64-bit version of Windows, click on this MSI. When you next restart Outlook or MacroView DMF Explorer, you'll be able to go to the MacroView tree. Let's right-click on this site collection and we see a provision option. If we choose Site Collection Components and then click on MacroView Document and Email Management, the provisioning tool will install the site content type and columns that MacroView uses to record email properties. This step can take a while, so please be patient. Once we've added those site collection components, we can right-click on the site collection again and choose to provision a new site. Let's use sample as the title of our new site and also its URL extension. Our new site is now created and displayed in the MacroView tree. Let's right-click on this existing site and provision a new MacroView library. This type tells us that it's a MacroView compatible library. Let's give it the title Sample, sample MV Library uh, with, this, uh, with this extension. Our new MacroView compatible document library is now being created. If we expand our demo site, we'll see our MacroView library it's already got a set of views that are appropriate for managing documents and emails. Let's save this email to our new library. And click on the library we see in the emails view. We see that the properties of the email have been recorded automatically. It's a MacroView compatible library. MacroView DMF and MacroView Message let you search for emails in SharePoint. That search can be based on their content and or their metadata, and you can do the search while you work in Outlook. If you're using SharePoint Online, you need to do some more configuration before your new MacroView email search is fully functional. You need to define some managed properties that correspond to the email metadata attributes. See the companion video for information on how to do this. The MacroView Solution Provisioning Tool can also be used to provision custom designs for your SharePoint email and document store. You can have custom content types, custom metadata columns, custom views, even custom term sets automatically created by the tool. Use these details for more information about provisioning in SharePoint and generally for MacroView solutions.